Hey guys, welcome back to No Kitchen. It's me, Ella. Today is October day 25. It is two months until Christmas. <laughs> I just got back from running around with my mom. Uh, she went with me to Sam's Club. And so I'm gonna show you what I bought because it's fun. <laughs> they didn't have half the things I went for though, so that's a little bummer. But I got some things that I wanted and some things that I got because they were there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'll share with you. So I got some of these purple grapes. We love these ones. They're big and like crunchy. They're good. I was gonna get some chicken tacos they make there, but they didn't have any, so I got uh, some enchiladas for dinner tonight. That's good too. Got some of the yellow kiwis. I love those. They're very tasty. Got some cucumbers. And they had pepperonis again. So I got the big double patch pouch. Uh, it's hard to find pepperonis anymore. Seems like people buy them a lot. <laughs> and um, we've been needing them for recipes. And then I got this. This was like a splurge or like a impulse. I wanted some more of these Airwick um, things for mine. But they didn't have Airwick brand. But they had clay. And this is a Christmas scent. So I bought it. <laughs> but that's okay. I also got a bag of Ambrosia apples. Those are my favorite right now. I love the yellow delicious ones. But they're not in season I guess or something. Because I can't find them anywhere. And then I also got some chips. And got some plain chips. Me and Devin like munching on plain chips. And I got Jesse a big bag of this popcorn. He loves this kind. I do too. But Jesse really loves this one. And then I got me another bag of this kind. Because <laughs> this is really good. And uh, I'm excited about it. My mom also got some of that popcorn. She got some Doritos. And a chicken. <laughs> Ever sister chicken and some laundry soap so nothing exciting but um, a lot of the things i wanted was not in stock which is annoying but i know that uh supply chain and all that's messed up and sam's club anyways um you know sometimes they have things sometimes they don't but that's okay i got some stuff i also wanted some more fresh things and fruit because i like snacking on fruit and i'm glad i got the pepperonis and the air weight i mean the glade things because i'm kind of feeling like i smell really good Scratch thing, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's gonna smell good. I'm gonna open that up <laughs> and put that in the house for now. But, yeah, so, um, shop updates later today. Jesse's at school already. I gotta go to Walmart to get some things that wasn't at Sam's Club, which is annoying. They didn't have any chicken noodle soup. They had a big thing of uh, tomato soup and they had cream of mushroom soup, but they didn't have any chicken noodle or cream of chicken. But, you know, it's, it's that time of year when people make it a lot of casseroles, so. I understand why the cream of chicken was gone, but I really wanted some chicken noodle soup because I love eating it, but I'll just have to get some cans at Walmart. What else? Uh, didn't have bagel bites. Devin wanted some of those. Uh, a couple other things. I just can't remember off the top of my head what they were, but I'm going to put this stuff in the refrigerator. It needs to go up, and I'm going to plug one of these up in the living room and one in the bathroom, I think, to make it smell nice and pretty. But um, it's hard to find Airwick. I guess Airwick's like a cheaper brand than Glade. Because Glade is like everywhere. And it's hard to find Airwick refills. Except at Dollar General. So I, I just I guess I'll just do the Glade. I'll stick to Glade ones from now on then. I don't know. But I'll catch up with you guys later. And uh, hopefully have something to tell you or something. I don't know. <laughs> hey guys. Um. I got some mail today. <laughs> I uh, ordered Jesse another Christmas present. I don't know. I don't know. But he's been asking for a neck pillow. I have no idea why. <laughs> but he's been wanting a neck pillow. I guess he's seen it on videos or something and wanted one. And I haven't been able to find one locally, like in a store around us. So I had to go to Amazon and order a kid size one because all the ones locally were adult size. And I was afraid that that would hurt his neck or just not work on him. So I ordered him this cute one. It's like a dragon or a dinosaur or something. They had a bunch of different animals, and I thought he would like this one. So this is going to be a Christmas present. I'm going to wrap it up. i got to put it in. It's really soft. It's nice and smishy. I don't remember what brand it was by. Wait, it's right here. Uh, Home Winds. It was, I think, $16. Kind of a lot for a little pillow, but he's been wanting one for some reason. And um, so I thought I'd get it for him. Because the only thing he's been talking about really wanting is Legos. And I'd like to get him something other than Legos for Christmas. But I got them that and I got to put that up. And I also ordered because they were, they're normally $24.99, but they go on sale randomly on Amazon for a dollar. So I thought I'd pick one up. And this was a smart plug-in. I haven't ever tried one of these, 
but I, because Christmas is coming up and like to me Christmas is starting next week next Monday after Halloween is the beginning of Christmas for me and we're gonna put the tree up over here and the plug for it is behind the couch so I thought I would get this and it was on sale for a dollar and hook it up to my device I don't want to say her name because it'll activate her but my uh, girl robot that does stuff for us <laughs> um, so that I could just tell her to turn the Christmas tree on so I don't have to get crawl underneath it every time and unplug it and plug it in and stuff I'm hoping that works good because if it does I'm gonna start ordering these every time they're a dollar to uh, stock up on some because it'd be nice to have them for other lights in the house and um, and just being I think it'd be nice for the Christmas lights because I could just say blah 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 turn on the Christmas lights or you know whatever and everything would just light up and then at night I could say her name turn off the Christmas lights and go to bed you know Else. I have a timer for our outdoor Christmas lights, so I don't have to worry about them. I have them set up to where they, I think it, they come on at 5 and go off at 10. And uh, I found it the other day. I was going to hook it up for the Halloween lights outside, but I couldn't remember how to program it. <laughs> so I'm just leaving it with the Christmas hours on there. But uh, if this works out, I'm definitely going to buy them every time they're a dollar. Because I wouldn't pay $25 for one, but when they're going to sell for a dollar, I will pay a dollar for one. <laughs> um, so I think it would be handy. I don't think I'd need many of them because I don't have that many devices that we turn on and off other than lamps. But I think it'd be handy to have a few around the house. I don't know. If you have one, let me know if you use it. <laughs> I'm assuming it runs off of Wi-Fi. And uh, I was reading on the email because it sent me an email about it. Um, you program it through your phone app, so I can do that. I'm just not going to open it yet until next Monday. When we pull out the Christmas tree, I will get it plugged up and going and I think I think I'm gonna like it because I think it's gonna be convenient because not only normally every year it sucks trying to plug in the Christmas lights and remembering to unplug them but this year I'm gonna be really fat and pregnant <laughs> so I'm not gonna be wanting to crawl, climb underneath the Christmas tree to uh, unplug it and plug it in it's only got the one plug but Christmas lights you can plug into themselves you know so I can plug the tree up and then I can plug my lights I put around the room into the trees outlet thing and they can all be connected together. So I think that'd be nice, I don't know. I also got a Halloween card from Carrie Penny, who is the Happy, Craft, Happy Crafty Homemaker. And it's cute, she makes homemade ones. It is so cute. And on the back of it, ugh. And even the envelope's cute. She don't, she don't have her address on her. And mine's just my P.O. box, so. They crossed out the stamp instead of stamping it, I guess, because it's a black envelope. And then it had a pumpkin. I didn't rip the pumpkin. I just ripped the paper around the pumpkin. <laughs> Let me fix it. The pumpkin. <laughs> That's so cute. I was hoping I'd get one from her. Because sometimes, you know, she's so busy. Um, she doesn't get to make a whole bunch of them. So sometimes some people get them and some people don't. Because, you know, she can't just sit there and make cards all day. So I feel lucky that I got one. And I'll show that again in a Happy Mail video. Um whenever i also got my light bill that's not as fun but it is cheaper because <laughs> we've been turning the air off because uh, it's getting cooler it's actually gonna be cold tomorrow today's high was 68 and it's rainy and tomorrow's high is 57 so it's gonna be nice and cool tomorrow <laughs> and it's gonna be cold tomorrow night we have a trunk or treat but it's a drive-through one in our town we're gonna take jesse too uh it's at a car lot or a car dealership so Tomorrow's a busy day for Jesse. He's got to go to school, get his school pictures made, go to the book fair. Uh, I sent him some money today and for his school account to uh, buy him some little books with. <laughs> I can't wait to see what he picks out. Um, I actually have some ordered from the Scholastic book fair. Uh, I'm hoping they come soon because one of them is a Halloween book. But it's not the end of the world. We'll still read it even when it's not Halloween time. But um, he has the book fair. And then we'll come pick him up, and then we're going to go get some fast food. <laughs> and then we're going to come back to school because we got to waste some time uh, to have a parent-teacher conference. Our appointment for it is at 4.15, so it's a little bit after he gets out of school. That's why we're going to go get something to eat. <laughs> and then after that, we're going to be going to the trunk retreat, and then we got to take him to my mom's house. She's going to watch him tomorrow night because Devin has a dentist appointment super early Wednesday morning. His appointment's at 7, which means we got to get there at 6-something. And it's in the town next to us, so we, we won't have time to take Jesse to school. So she's going to watch him tomorrow night. 
and uh, take him to school, and then we can pick him up that evening. Uh, so it's going to be a busy little day for him. He's going to be tuckered out, and he's going to have books, and uh, he's going to have his school pictures, and candy, and it's just he's going to have fun. And Wednesday is Devin's dentist appointment. Do we got to do anything Thursday? Oh, my pedicure is Thursday. Uh, and Friday, got to pay bills. <laughs> And there was something else Friday. Oh, trunk or treats. Yeah, I gotta borrow my mom's car to do that because Devin works at night. But um, there's a bunch of trunk or treats Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I'm gonna try to take Jesse to as many trunk or treats as I can because I feel like they're safer. And because um, we can park in a parking lot and get out and walk around, you know, without worrying about cars and stuff. But then, uh, depending on how late it is Halloween night when we get done trunk or treating, we might do some regular trick or treating in some of the neighborhoods that I know have safe sidewalks and stuff um because i don't want to get hit by a car and i don't want jesse to get hit by a car or anybody to spook us or anything because one year we were trick-or-treating on foot it was me Devin, jesse and the little girl that i used to babysit and she's a teenager now <laughs> but she was littler then uh we were walking on the street because it was didn't have a sidewalk and a stupid yee, -yee boy in his jacked up truck with flags on the back of it uh just come barreling down the road and he got half like almost down the road and then did a u-turn and barreled back up it with us and other trick-or-treaters on the road that made me so mad i was yelling at him because <laughs> i'm the kind of mom you know like i'm a mama bear when my kids are potentially in danger and um yeah if he had stopped that car i'd have beat the crap out of that boy i cannot stand teenagers who do stuff that can put other people in harm and uh there's a lot of them around here because i live in the south <laughs> And they're all the yee yee boys, which I do not approve of. I don't mind country boys, but I hate them stupid, them ones. If you're in the South, you know which ones I'm talking about. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to hop off here and watch some Chicago Med. I finished the seasons one through five on Netflix. So now I'm on Peacock watching season six because <laughs> six and seven is on Netflix. Seven's coming out right now, like every week. So I can watch season six and then I can catch up on season seven. And then, um, then I don't know what I'm going to do. I might start watching Chicago Fire and PD. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, our light bill was a little bit lower, which is nice. And it, November and December, it'll be lower. And then it'll be real high. In, uh, well, let's see here. November, December, January, it'll be lower. It usually gets down pretty low. Because we don't run any air. And we don't run the heat all the time. Because our November and December aren't that cold. Like, they're cold, but they're not, like, freezing cold. Um, and then in, Jan in like January and February's bill will get higher because that's when we get our peak of coldness is January and February and March is like super cold here. That's when we get our snow and our ice storms and all that. Um, but with the baby also, the house will be nice and toasty. And I keep a, a heater, like a plug-in heater in the bathroom so that it's nice and warm when me and Jesse take baths. Devin doesn't complain about it, but I don't like to get out of the bath, the, the, the shower cold because <laughs> I will freeze to death. But, yeah. Anyways, I got my spider blanket over here. I worked on it a little bit last night. And I'll probably work on it some more today. And I got laundry going. I did mine and Jesse's this morning. It's already put up. I did a load of towels. They're, they need to be folded, but they're washed and dried. <laughs> and Devin's is in there right now. I let his clothes soak today. Because we got a new cleaner for it. And it said on the bottle, best results for soaking. So I soaked it the whole time <laughs> that I was gone with my mom. And then I came back, drained it, and now it's washing. So I'm hoping that it helps come clean. He works in a factory, so it's really dirty. And uh, he comes home covered in all kinds of stuff. So uh, hopefully that helps with that. Anyways, I'm going to hop off here and go find something to eat. Cause I, it's almost 1 o'clock. I haven't eaten anything today except a handful of grapes. But I'm not even hungry. But I know I need to eat. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go get something to eat and... Sit here and watch some TV and just chill until time to get Jesse and then time to update the shop and then probably chill the rest of the night. <laughs> and uh, speaking of the shop update, um, normally I try to ship the next day, but this particular shop update, because I'm so busy this week, I'm probably not going to ship until Thursday. Maybe even Friday. Because I've got so much stuff the next few days coming up. But I don't know. I'll, I'll still try to ship them out this week either way. But anyways, I just, I'm just just let you guys know. And I'm going to hop off here because <laughs> I'm just blabbing at this point. Hey, guys. It's later. 
Been busy all day. <laughs> I did all the laundry. Got it all done. I just, Devin's just still in there. I hung up, but it ain't put up. Me and Jesse did some cleaning and his homework. And he's in the bathtub right now. So I am, um, got an email. <laughs> I'm sitting here. I'm going to work on my spider blanket a little bit. I haven't worked on it very much at all. <laughs> uh, I haven't really done any crocheting today. Actually, I haven't done any. I did because I, I worked on this a little bit last night, but none today. Today's another boring vlog of me not doing anything, <laughs> but uh, that's okay. We're going to be busy tomorrow and Wednesday and Friday. <laughs> so I have to, um, I'll vlog then and have more stuff to share, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, so I am going to sit here and crochet on this a little bit. It's getting close, about an hour. Just my dad, Jesse got to go to bed. And then, um, you know, it's going to be cold here tomorrow. I got his clothes laid out. His jacket's ready. His backpack's packed back up the way it needs to be. <laughs> uh, his homework that we do is back in there. I got his pajamas laying there with his vitamins he's got to take. And I've just got everything ready. I need to lay, lay out my clothes for in the morning because it's going to be cold. Luckily, Devin's at work, so when he comes home in the morning, the car will already be heated up. Because it's going to be 57, which I know it's not super cold, but it's cold for us when we're used to it being in the 70s and 80s. And I'm mostly worried about Jesse being cold. But, uh, yeah, he'll be fine. So it'll, it'll be like in the 30s in the morning <laughs> when we're uh, getting ready for school. And uh, probably the late 30s, early 40s, and I don't want him to be freezing. But, yeah. Uh, I don't have to pack his lunch. He has school pictures tomorrow. Book fair. Uh, parent teacher conference. Trunk or treat. And possibly going to his granny's to stay the night. Or she might come here and stay the night to take him to school for us on uh, Wednesday. Because Devin has a dentist appointment super early. I'm dreading that. <laughs> I'm probably I'm gonna take my crochet and I'm gonna s I'll probably go in and sit with him in the waiting room until he gets called back. And then I told him I'd probably go sit in the car. And crochet because I don't like sitting in the waiting room. The chairs there, they're weird hot, and I can't sit with my legs the way I like them without it being uncomfortable, if that makes any sense. And um, so I'll wait with him while he's in there, and then I'll go out when he gets called in because the treatment he's, his, he's getting a gum treatment for his gum disease. Uh, they said it's gonna take a few hours, so I will just take probably my spider blanket and some scrap balls, and probably also my midwife blanket. I think it's supposed to be fairly decent weather that day, like in the 60s. So I can just have the windows open and just sit there and crochet and be happy. <laughs> and uh, I got to also go by that day and pick up my shots, my prescription, and my folic acid peel. I might get that tomorrow because I called it into Walmart, even though I asked them to call it into the other place. But whatever. Um, yeah, and I got to go to Walmart maybe tomorrow to pick up some things. That I couldn't get at Sam's Club. Tomorrow's Tuesday. I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, I'll probably start packaging up orders tomorrow that I got today. But I, I'm not going to mail them until either Wednesday afternoon or Thursday morning sometime. Just because we're going to be so busy Tuesday. So, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to sit here and crochet a little bit and then... If I get some work done on it, I'll take a picture of it and show it to you guys. It's getting pretty big. I don't know how big I want to make it. Uh, I'll probably just keep working on it throughout this week and uh, try to finish it up maybe on Halloween. The day, time, when we're not busy. And uh, call it done. You know, it's a scrap. Like, I can always add more to it later if I wanted to. I need to make some more appliques. I'll probably finish the blanket body. And then I might go ahead and make some more appliques for it. Even if it's in November. <laughs> and, uh... Then package it, you know, wrap it up good and put it in my Halloween boxes and pull it out next year to use. Yeah, I think I'll do that. <laughs> but I'm going to work on this and I'm probably going to get a snack, some popcorn or something. And uh, wait for a time to get him to bed and then after I get him to s sleep, <laughs> come in here and uh, probably crochet some more. Maybe talk to y'all some more. And edit this video even though there's not much to edit. I didn't do any. Like I did a lot of stuff today, I just didn't record it. Go here. I did make those enchiladas for dinner, and they were good. There's leftovers, too, so Devin can eat that tomorrow morning for his dinner slash breakfast. 
um, yeah, I guess that's it for now. I'll, I might pop back in later, who knows, or I might not, I don't know. <laughs> Bye guys, just in case, I don't know.